Hey guys, uh, Antonio here, and I'm really excited because we're bringing to you a great book called The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Um, and for any of you who've heard of this book, um, you could have heard that it was possibly like the dark side version of how to win friends and influence people. I know we haven't covered that yet. We will cover it. Don't worry, guys. But um, this book is very dark in my eyes. Um, so, you know, take these things with a grain of salt. Um, maybe implement them in your life, but that's not my advice to you uh, to implement everything here. They could, some of the things could be very dark, as I said. So that's my preface before you start this uh, entire playlist here. We're going to start with law one, which is never outshine my master. So um, if you have a master of any sort or, you know, someone who's above you that you're learning from, like a mentor, you always should make, make them feel more completely superior to you. When you don't do that um, and, you know, you outshine them too much, you will make them make your master feel insecure and your master will, will disown you and not, not care about you. And, you know, I don't mean to use like this own in the sense of like he owns you, but in the sense that he will not help you anymore. He will not want to be a part of you. You'll end up hurting your master. And that's not what we want here. We don't want to hurt the master. What we want to do is we want to outshine them in key moments only to prove that you have the skill, but you know, you're reserved, you're still learning. And the, the ways you can do this by making them seem more superior than you is flattery works, but it only works in small doses. So, you know, don't use it too much. Um, but you, you have to make some mistakes that you know won't hurt you in the long run in front of them. Um, you make a mistake here that you know you're making, even though you think you, you might be smarter than them. You have to make the mistake in front of him to make it seem like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, that's my mistake. Thank you for, thank you for, you know, pointing that out to me. Um, you know, and you ask for your help when you make those mistakes, even though they might be completely, um, completely on purpose that you did them. Um, and then whenever you give him advice, you just say this. Yeah. I mean, I would have never been able to do this without you. Um, this advice is something that you taught me like a while ago. So don't, don't thank me. Like this is completely you, you know, push the thanks bank back to them because that's something that they gave you in the end. And that will make them feel more superior than you. And that's the goal here. You don't want them to feel less superior than you because then they will end up kicking you to the curb. Um, and the way this book is structured is it'll tell you how to follow the law and when the case is that you should not follow the law. So the reversal of this chapter is if your master is weak and he's, he's a falling star, you know, he's not someone who's popular, you know, for instance, right now, um, Uber has been in the news a lot lately. And if there's someone who was, this might be a bad example. Um, Okay, let's say Uber was the master of, you know, or the mentor for another company. Um, when Uber's going downhill, you might want to, being the person who's under Uber, you might want to kick them when they're down at that point, is what the book is suggesting. Because your master did this at some point to his mentor um, when he decided to become the new big shot. So it's saying when your master's go going down, then do that. But when your master's still up and strong, don't overcome him. Even if your skills are a lot better than him, just sit back, keep learning, and be patient. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the 48 Laws of Power. Uh, law 1, never outshine thy master. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to read this book, guys. This book gives you a great perspective. I highly suggest you buy it. Um, all these books by Robert Greene have been great that I've read so far. Also, guys, please leave me a thumbs up. And, as always, subscribe and have a wonderful day.